Hey y'all. Tonight I'm going to make a meal that I have made many, many, many times on my channel, but the kids have been requesting it, and so I'm just going to quickly mix up some of the meatloaf, meatloaf balls that I have been making for years. So I'm just going to quickly do that. I'm going to aim the camera down here a little bit better. I'm doing a little bit different angle, kind of going back old school the way I used to always do my videos. And we're going to do it this way. So I'm starting out in this bowl. I have a pound of hamburger meat. Um, I normally use two pounds, but since it's just us, we're going to kind of cut it in half today. I've got probably about a half, maybe half of a of an onion that I chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and do two eggs. Um, I'll put the original recipe down in the description box. Normally I do two pounds with three eggs. Um, then I'm also going to add in, uh, I think I'm going to add about a cup of quick oats. Normally I do about a cup and a half, but today we'll do about a cup or so. There's a half and then here is another half. We're also going to add in some mustard. We need a tablespoon of mustard, just yellow mustard. Okay, we also need, I'm looking at my recipe. Um, I have about a quarter of a cup of milk. And then we're going to put probably about a quarter or so of a cup of ketchup. This one is almost empty. Wait, stop. We're going to add that in. And then I'm also going to put in some salt and pepper. Let me grab it. These are very easy to, to make and they're very good. Oops, sorry I put too much salt, but hopefully that'll be okay. And I think I have everything in here now. We've got the meat, we've got the oats, we've got the mustard, the onions, uh, the ketchup. Okay, I'm going to, now I'm going to use my hand. Like I always say, God gave me my hands. It's the best tool that I have for doing this. So that's what I'm going to do. And as I'm mixing this, if it feels like it's too wet, like if I have too much liquid, I may add some more breadcrumbs because like I said, I, I hacked this recipe. I didn't use two pounds of meat like I normally do. And actually my meat is still a little bit frozen. I thought it was all the way thawed out. So I've got some pieces in here that I'm trying to break apart that were still kind of frozen. So. And if you don't want to mix this with your hands, you can get a spoon or whatever you like to use to mix up when you're doing meatloaf. So, I'm going to quickly get my pan. I'm going to rearrange how I got the camera set up, and we're going to make our meatballs. And I'll be right back. Okay, y'all. Now I have my baking dish out here, and we're going to make little balls. So, I just kind of... I don't know. I just kind of guess. Sometimes as I'm making these, I will go back and rearrange how I have them because, or the shape, because sometimes I have them too big or something. So, Courtney's in here now. Try to get them more, as close to the same size as I can. And if y'all have been around for a long time, for a while, you know that I make these. I actually haven't made them for my family in a while. But I have made them on my channel several times. And I've even changed up the recipe. And I was told by the ch my kids don't change it up. Because <laughs> they don't want me to. Some of these are kind of big. So now I'm kind of making some smaller. Scooting them around. And this is what I do sometimes. Is <laughs> I, some people probably, you know, you could measure, like if you had some way to like measure them or use a scooper and they would be all the same size, but I don't know. I just do this. It works out. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to put these in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes um, and let those bake. In just a second, I will be right back. I'm going to make the sauce that we will put on at the very end. Because after they've cooked for about 40 to 45 minutes, we'll put that sauce on top and cook it for another 5 to 10 minutes. So, I will be right back. Okay, y'all. Now I'm going to make up the sauce. This is the part the kids just love this sauce. There's been times I have made the sauce up to use um, on just a regular meatloaf that I've made. So... 
We're gonna start out, and I'm just gonna make the normal amount that I would make even if I was making like two pounds of meat because I will just smother everything in this sauce because they love it so much. So I'm gonna need about a half a cup of ketchup. Okay, that's about a half a cup there. Okay, I also need a half a cup of brown sugar. So I'm going to measure that out. Okay, half a cup of brown sugar. And then the last thing I need is one and a half teaspoons of mustard. Here is a teaspoon. So we're gonna get that. And then about a half a teaspoon there. So I'm mixing this up really well to try to get, get the pieces of sugar all dissolved in there. And what I'll do is, I'm just gonna cover this up and just set it to the side until we're ready for it. So this sauce, it's very simple, but it's very good. Okay, y'all, I got these pretty much done now. They all are, uh, I checked them with the meat thermometer. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the sauce on top of these. I just like to use a little brush and just brush it on. Now I'm gonna stick these back in the oven for, I don't know, five, between five to 10 minutes. I am making up just regular old Kraft mac and cheese over here. <laughs> and I'm gonna make some, I was gonna make real potatoes, but I didn't get around to cutting them. So I'm just gonna make, I'm gonna make these microwavable ones. Make some rolls. Courtney wants rolls, so I guess we'll throw some rolls in. And I also, she's about to set the table. Over here, y'all can see, I'm trying to. I cut up some lettuce, tomatoes, and cucumbers for salad. I was in the mood for salad, too. And in case y'all wonder what kind of rolls, I use these Sister Shebert rolls. You just put them in the oven. I put them in the toaster oven for like five, six minutes, and they're done. They're they so are good. They're so good, and you can get them at Sam's Club. I buy the big bags at Sam's Club like this, but you can also get them at Walmart, and probably any other grocery store. Okay, y'all, the meatballs, the meatloaf balls are done. I went ahead, like I said, and I cut up some lettuce and tomatoes and cucumbers. And we've got the Sister Shebert dinner rolls. We've got some Kraft mac and cheese and just some microwavable um, urban butter potatoes, mashed potatoes. And that's going to be our supper tonight. We will let you know what we think. I know they're going to love it because this, like I said, is not necessarily Courtney's favorite, but it's the boys and my husband and mine, which my husband is working, so he's not going to get to eat with us tonight. But... Uh, we will come back and just give you our opinions. Hey, Adrian, we're gonna start with you. How Hi. is the food? It's like the greatest. Do you love it? Bum but. Diggy, bum but. Bum. But. but I didn't change up anything. I made the regular recipe because y'all told me last time well, not to really change good. it. And if you make gravy. Oh, I forgot he likes gravy on his mashed potatoes. Bubba, you probably wanted gravy too, didn't you? Are you okay? I just like salt on my potatoes. Oh, okay. Well, you can put salt on it. It's right there. Okay, you're going back for more, so I'm assuming you love it. It's the best. I mean, this boy loves these. This is like his favorite meal. Uh, and so does Adrian. And it's National Sunday, so I had to make something that the boys love. It's National Sunday. You didn't but do it's anything for me with National Daughter, but you didn't. Posted, you had yeah. I posted I about tacos. you. You didn't well, ask you didn't me to. didn't even know it was natural. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, about me. Mm -hmm. yeah, but you didn't ask. So it's National Sunday? Yeah. National Sunday. So, national Sunday to my Since Sunday. it's National Sunday, you should buy me a Lego set. No. I made you some food so that you can survive well, another day. I can build trucks out of this. You yes, but it gives you the though. energy to build the trucks for the future. No, he but doesn't it. need any more energy. <laughs> so, Kiki... How do you like it? She's not a big fan of meatballs, meatloaf balls or anything. I'd rather eat tacos or Dorito casserole. Oh yeah, that's something mm -hmm. that I'm gonna try to probably make in this video, is Dorito casserole, and we'll see what else I come up with. Hi Zoe. <laughs> Our so friend watches. Watch Hi oh, okay. Zoe, we're gonna call you out. Hi people. Shout you out. But anyways, alrighty. Hey y'all, tonight we're gonna make um, a Dorito casserole, and I know I showed this the other day, um, my new digital scale from Vaunt, and I got some 
hamburger meat that my husband actually got from his cousin that lives in Oklahoma. He actually got it from his ex-boss that he used to work for. And so I believe this is a two pound package. It wasn't uh, marked. So that's a little over a pound. And so this other one should be, because I only need a pound of meat for tonight. And that's, yeah. Take a little bit of this, put with that, and then there, close enough. So y'all, I will have this link down in the description box. If I'm not mistaken, this is like, ten dollars uh ten or eleven dollars it's very inexpensive so Ew, i'm loving it <laughs> okay y'all now we're gonna get started on our dorito casserole i have my oven preheating to 350 i have one onion that i diced up and then we're gonna add one pound of hamburger meat which i showed y'all a while ago i'm gonna put that in there and i'll use this other pound for something else and I'm also going to add in some salt and pepper, and I'm going to put in a couple cloves of garlic. I will link this recipe down below for y'all. Courtney actually requested me to make Dorito casserole. I've made it a long time ago. I don't remember what recipe I used. I just got on Pinterest and kind of looked, and I was like, hmm, this one sounds good. I have everything that it calls for, so we just, and my meat was... Still a little bit frozen, and y'all, I got a car today. It's not brand new, but it's new to me. It's another Chevy Malibu, which is what I had before, but this one is newer, and it's white. I have been wanting a white vehicle ever since I had a Suburban. I used to have a white Suburban, and I loved it, and then we got rid of it and got my black Malibu that I used to have. Well, I still have it. It's in our yard with a blown-up motor, but anyways, so I'm, I was doing that today. Me and my husband, I was so excited because... I've been driving his truck, and it is a Chevy Duramax, which is a diesel, and it uses a lot of diesel. I do a lot of driving for my kids going back to school and activities, so we needed something better on gas, and that's why we decided to find another Malibu or another just car just to run around in. I'll have to show y'all some pictures of it in a little bit. I'll include them in here. I'll, I'll put them on the screen up here somewhere. So anyways, I just put a clo two cloves actually of garlic. Oh, and it really might help if I turn this oven or turn this stove on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and brown this meat and cook it, let the onions get soft, and then I will come back and show you what we're gonna do next. Okay y'all, my meat is just about done, but it has a little bit of grease in it, not a lot, but I'm going to uh, use a paper towel instead of draining it. I actually saw my friend Julia Pacheco. If y'all don't watch her, you probably have heard of her. My friend, she hit 300,000 subscribers, y'all. Why do you have a napkin? This helps soak up the grease. I mean, you wouldn't want to put, if you have really thin paper towels, I would not advise doing this. But This is Bounty. <laughs> these are pretty good. I forget what brand these are. I think, I think they are Bounty. Anyways, if you have very thin ones, they might fall apart. But if you have a good paper towel, you just rub it across in there, and it will soak up the grease. And so I've seen her do that before. But anyways, what I was saying before Courtney interrupted me was, Julia Pacheco, um, I remember when she first started, me and her hit 5,000 subscribers at the same time. And she just hit 300,000. I'm so proud of her, but she works so hard on her on her channel um she has so many great ideas so if you want someone to get some ideas from go check out julia pacheco okay now y'all i have just some old el paso taco seasoning that we're going to add with a third of a cup of water so we're going to put that in there and a third of a cup of water mix this up good sorry and you're also going to add one cup of salsa and then we're going to um, we're going to let this cook for about five minutes, and then we will move on to the next step. Okay, y'all, we have the meat all done up. I'm going to pour it into a big bowl. I'm sorry, I probably have it blocked right now. Okay, so I have yeah, guys, it happened. <laughs> I have my meat mixture, and we're going to add to it. Um, one cup of sour cream and then we're also going to add a can of cream of mushroom soup if you don't like cream of mushroom you could probably use cream of chicken um, 
but I think it'll be good. I'm not a big fan of mushrooms, but I don't mind cream of mushroom because it's so the mushrooms are so little. It's a it's a texture thing for me that I just I just can't eat. I would like to be able to eat big mushrooms like everybody else does, but it's just oh I don't know. Something about it. Okay, and then we're gonna add see and then a cup of cheese. And right now I have this cheddar jack. And we're gonna mix this up together really well. Okay, I have a nine by 13 inch pan. It's said to use a two quart baking dish or casserole dish. Um, I think a nine by 13 is actually a three quart, but it'll work. So we're gonna layer one and a half cups of crushed Doritos. Um, they don't have to be little, I mean, whatever size you want. So we're gonna just layer those on the bottom. Just kinda. And then we're gonna take our beef mixture and we're gonna put about half of it. I'm gonna get a better spoon. We're gonna put about half of this beef mixture over the um, chips. Okay, I have another one and a half cups of crushed chips that I'm gonna put over. And then we're gonna put the rest of our meat. I hope I, and I may not have evened it out exactly. There may be more than half now, I don't know. I'm not good at looking at it sometime and saying this is half or not. <laughs> oh well, it's all gonna work. It's gonna all be mixed together anyways. Okay, now we're gonna take one more, uh, one and a half cup, or that didn't sound right. We'll take another one and a half cup of Doritos that I crushed up. And put that on there, just kind of spread those out. And then we're also going to top it with some more cheese. And I have the Monterey, or the Cheddar Jack. I didn't have quite enough, because we want about one and a half cups of cheese to go on top. So I have some shredded cheese I added with it. So we're just gonna kind of. And then it says to take a piece of foil and spray it with some cooking oil, or cooking oil, cooking spray, whatever, nonstick cooking spray, and then cover this with that. So I'm gonna just kinda, here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna spray, <laughs> we'll just spray, I guess to keep it closely. Okay, I sprayed it, I'm gonna flip it over, and cover this up. A little bit slippery now. Got it all covered and we're gonna put it in our oven that I preheated to 350 degrees. So we're gonna bake it for 30 minutes covered, then we will remove the foil and bake it an additional 20 minutes. So that's what we're gonna do and I'll come back and it'll be all done. Okay y'all, I uncovered it. It's been in there for 30 minutes. So you can hear my timer going off. I'm gonna go ahead and shut that. I'm actually gonna set it for about 15 minutes because my family is starving. I was so preoccupied with messing around with the car that I didn't realize the time and then I was like, it's almost seven o'clock and we usually eat at six, so I'm running behind. So anyways, we're gonna hope in about 15 minutes it'll be bubbly and stuff and, and looking good. I'll let you know. Okay, I took it out of the oven. I ended up leaving it in there 20 minutes the last time and I think it's done. I got some corn back there that's done. And then I have lettuce and tomatoes from last night that I'm gonna serve on the side if people want to make a salad or put it on here or whatever. Okay, y'all, I wanted to show y'all how I did mine. I just did a little salad on the side, just plain, just lettuce, tomatoes, cheese. And that's how I did mine. Hey, Adrian, how do you like tonight's food? Good? Courtney. Hello. How are you liking the food? I love it. It's really hot. Burnt my tongue, but <laughs> the only thing I don't like is the corn. I, don't like corn. I gave her a little bit of corn. But the food is really good. My husband's outside and Bryce is outside, so when they come in, I will ask their opinion. Okay, now Bryce is in here so we can get his opinion. Is it okay? It's absolutely disgusting. No. It's great. You like it? Good. He wasn't really excited about the Dorito casserole, so. Oh, please. Oh. It was good. I'll Thanks. find out my. Hey y'all, tonight we are gonna be making a beef Alfredo chili mac. So, I'm starting out with a pound of ground beef and still a little bit frozen right in the very center. That's okay. So I'm gonna season up my meat at, I'm gonna season my meat. I can't talk y'all. I'm gonna 
Season it up with a little salt. I've had a lot of people ask me where I get these salt and pepper shaker, not shakers, salt and pepper containers, and they're Ray Dunn. And I got them, I believe, at Home Goods or Marshalls. And I've had them now for probably a year or so. So, in case you were wondering, that's where I got it. I'm also going to get, let me go grab some, some more seasoning. Y'all know me, I like a little garlic powder and onion powder. Basically, in all hamburger meat that I make, or ground beef, sorry. Some people say ground beef. I say hamburger meat, same difference to me. So, what we're going to do is we're going to brown this up. And then, I will let you know what we're going to do next. So, I will come back once I have this meat done. Okay, y'all. If you watched last week's What's for Dinner, you're going to be proud of me. Because I figured out how to, <laughs> to zero this out and use a bowl so that noodles won't roll off. <laughs> so, anyways, we need eight ounces of spaghetti. Not spaghetti. Eight ounces of elbow noodles. So... Oh, I need to change my, my units to, to ounces, so. Are you ready for No. Why not? Because your daughter didn't want it, but I'm making something else that should be good. Golly, Gina. Look, okay, anyways, look, y'all. Okay, it's a little over eight ounces because when I take a few out, it's never right. But anyways, I figured it out. Y'all, I was cooking my meat, and then I realized I never put my water on to boil because you need to cook your noodles while you're cooking your meat. So, <laughs> you might wanna do that. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil so I can go ahead and get the noodles cooked. My meat is actually done. Um, I will bring you back in a minute and I'll start adding in what needs to go into there. But I didn't wanna go ahead and start mixing it just yet. Okay y'all, now that I have <laughs> my noodles finally boiling, our meat is done. I'm gonna add in a jar of Alfredo sauce. And I'm gonna go get, I have some heavy cream. I like to put a little bit of that in the jar and um, kind of get the rest of what's in there out. So I just get just, just heavy whipping cream. And I'm not gonna pour very much in there. I'm just gonna put, I don't know if you, hopefully it's focusing, not like that much. And I'm gonna close it, put the lid on it, and then I'm just gonna kind of swish it a little bit, not too much because it's cream, just to kind of get some of what's left in there out. And then we're also gonna add in some chili powder, because you know, this is chili, chili Alfredo. So I'll stir this up real good. I'm also, let's see how much. Okay, y'all, now I'm gonna add in the chili powder. I'm gonna start out with just one tablespoon because I don't want it to be too overpowering. Whoa, that maybe came out a little faster. Okay, hold on. It called for one and a half, which I almost put in there. <laughs> I'm gonna stir this up and taste it because I don't want it to be like really too overpowering. And I'm just gonna let this kind of simmer. I'm gonna taste it really quick. And I think that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put just a little more. So I'll probably end up having about one and a half like it called for. So I'm just gonna let this kind of simmer while the noodles are cooking. Okay y'all, my husband had the TV going in the background watching the news, so I decided to do voiceovers of this part. Um, I got the noodles finished cooking, I drained those, and now I poured them in with our meat and Alfredo mixture, and we're just gonna mix that up really, really well. Adrienne, how do you like this chili Alfredo mac stuff? Um, is it good? It is good. We but, added this to it. Yeah, you put the Cholula, hot and spicy, the green pepper. Yes, we put that on it, and it's really good. And then they, they, put, put, they put that stuff on it. But I well, I like putting, I put some green peppers, or not green peppers, Thumbs green up. onions. A thumbs up. Ted's looking at you. Okay, like you now I'm gonna ask my husband. You gonna give me a thumbs up? Or you don't like it? <laughs> he liked it. I don't know why he's trying to hide. He's being shy. 
he went back for more and he said he would eat more, but he didn't want to get too full. Okay, Kiki, Courtney. It's very good. I'm going back for a second bowl. Oh, so did you approve of this? And I do. I like it. I was going to make spaghetti and she I, didn't so want me to. It's so much better than spaghetti. Can you start making this, please? I don't like spaghetti. spaghetti I like is, it. Ooh, spaghetti is the best. Spaghetti it's tastes like... Ooh. I love spaghetti. Okay, anyways, y'all. Very, very good, I think. It was easy. It's, mm. Guys, did you know that spaghetti is Italian? Yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. dumb. You are not dumb. You know pizza's Italian, too? Really? Mm-hmm. 